James Savalski back here for EA Sports. Well, the battle lines were drawn in game one. What's in store for game two of this series? The officials there at center, and I think we are about to get this one underway. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Well, talk about a friendly ping right there. Oh, yeah, it's all about the bounces, isn't it, James? And you got to get the right one, and that one is in his favor. When we have a look at it, James, it looks like it's redirected, and that's just beautiful timing and get the hands away from the body, be able to get it to go the opposite direction of the goaltender. Toronto's on the board quickly here in this one, and wow, what a start. Yeah, this feels good if you're the away team. This is exactly the way you wanted to start. This is exactly the way the coach drew it up, and maybe even better. Coyles won the draw at center. Boston's got the puck along the wall. Denies him on the slapper. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Matthews uses a quick shot to score after deking towards the blue paint with his shock and awe zone ability. Pasternak's accuracy when shooting a puck that's flat and settled on the ice is his sharp zone ability, and it's what makes his shot so dangerous. Let's see if one of these stars can give their team the upper hand in this matchup. Back to you now. Here's a chance! Denies him with the save! Goaltender covers it up, and we'll get a reset here. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. 1-0 is where we sit at this point. Toronto's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Takes the puck at the point. Slides it back to the blue line. And that carries off a body in the lane. Moves the puck along the half wall. Moves it to Riley. Toronto's moving it into the offensive end. Boston's gained possession. Looks to pass it to McAvoy. Quick feed to Pasternak. Handles a puck at the point. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Samsonov. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Comes up with the stop. Sam Sonov's going to slow it down here and hang on for the whistle. Well, a good decision right there to dictate the tempo of the game, especially when he hasn't been busy. He's engaging right now. And from off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers scrummed up. Toronto's in now. Nice poke check. Moves it quickly over to Labushkin. The Bruins look to start the transition game. They've got the defense outnumbered. The Leafs gain possession along the wall. Pokes it away in his own end. Quick pass to DeBrusque. Austin's on the attack. Blocked off the puck. Oh, what a smart heads up play. And he slides it quickly to Bertuzzi. We got a penalty coming up here on the play. There's the whistle, and here's the call. The trailing by one and you take a penalty, not the way to get back in the game. And the man advantage unit comes out to go to work. Well, they've earned their first power play of the game. A tone setter right here and an opportunity to look at the coverage on the setup. Coming close! Stopped by the goaltender. Reaction time is so critical for goaltenders because the way the players shoot in this game today, man, it is so tough to stop. So this one, instincts. Blood goes up, makes the save. Off the draw, they take possession. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. And now it's over to Carlo. Smart read by the defender to come up with it. The Leafs have been picking off passes left, right, and center. You know the coach is going to like this, but it has to transition to offense because this game's awfully close. Picked up along the boards by Tavares. Here's a shot. Oh, and he steps up with the glove to stop that one. 
Another big face-off looming as this power play rolls on here tonight. The Bruins come up with the defensive zone draw. Brasso's got it in the defensive end. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. And things starting to ramp up a little bit now on the ice with that play. And now it's to Shattenkirk. And it's a quick pass to Brasov. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Boston's got a hold of it along the wall. Frederick's almost out of the box. Here we go, puck's in deep. The Leafs Jerry, fail to capitalize Jerry. on the power play. Power plays have the opportunity to really dictate pace and change the momentum of the game, and this one didn't do any of it, James. Certainly frustrated as they head back to the bench. Let's go, let's go. Tries to get it over to Bertuzzi. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. Here's a short pass to Shattenkirk. Redirected off a stick. Sends it into the offensive zone. Boston's got a hold of the puck. Works it across to Frederick. The Leafs have it from their own end. Matthews takes it into the offensive end. Here's a chance. And that's blocked in front. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. More than half the period left to play. We got a 1-0 game to this point. Boston's got the win off that draw. Great defensive stick work on the play. Puck is frozen and we'll get a face off. And we're moments away from getting back underway here with the puck drop. The Leafs will start off on the attack after winning the draw. Rips it on net. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. And he takes the dish. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. They've got some momentum here. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Stick handling in his own zone. The Leafs scoop it up along the boards. Along the half wall with the puck. Sends it down low. The Bruins take over on possession. Moves it to Saka. Good read with the stick to break that up. Taken along the wall by Brody. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. And he takes the feed. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. And a heads up kick pass over to his teammate. Along the right wall and into the offensive end. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Chase in front. And that's intercepted. The Leafs take it along the wall. We know the goaltender was set to this position, square to the shooter, to be able to make that club save. Here in the back half of this period, we've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Matthews won the draw, and they'll start off on the attack. Great reach with the coach check by Frederick. Shattenkirk's got it along the boards. Big hit, and that frees up possession. Boston's got the puck along the boards. Beautiful stick save to keep them from lighting the lamp. There's back to back saves. This is such a high energy shift, and it's a reason why they have sustained pressure in the offensive zone. Their opponent back on their heels, looking real tired now. Steps into the offensive end. Holquist's got the puck in his own zone. Quick pass across to Shattenkirk. Picked up along the wall by Loco. Quick feed to Boquist. 
And he had the answer on that one. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Looks like lineups are set and they're ready to get things back underway. Toronto's won the draw. And now it's grabbed by Leah Bushkin. Pokes the puck away. Boston's got him along the wall. The Leafs send their man advantage unit out once more. They haven't scored yet in the game on the power play, but no need to get frustrated. They all bring a different skill set. It's the reason why they're out there. Nice play, shorthanded as they get control of the puck. They get it out of the defensive end. for the whistle. Zaka's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. Tosses it on to Bertuzzi. Boston's got it in the neutral zone. Puck picked up by Marner. Moves it quickly over to Frederick. And he loses control of the puck. Now a quick pass to Yarncroft. Taken down, penalty coming up. He's ahead of the pack here, off to the races, and he gets taken down from behind, and that's gonna be a penalty shot tripping all day long. Goaltender takes a deep breath, and here we go. Makes the stop under pressure. Coyle's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. now can't stay on his feet after that hit one last rush here on this power play slides the puck into the offensive zone there's the whistle we've got it offside here in the late goings of the period Toronto's up one zip and they win that neutral zone draw Strong penalty killing execution as both sides are now back to even strength. Gives him a lock and the officials are going to call this one. And there's another penalty call against the home team. These fans are frustrated. Michelle, I think these calls are legit. I just think that the fans are wondering, what about the other side here? Well, yeah, they got to be expecting to get one soon here as it is one side. And it's so hard for a team to get into the game when there's no flow because you keep braiding yourself to the box. Toronto's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Can't get frustrated with their power play. Stick and execute to the game plan. And part of that is hitting that weak side for the cross crease one-timer. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face-off here on this power play. The Bruins get a hold of the puck in their own end. Toronto's got a hold of it against the wall. And he slides it quickly to Riley. He tips it. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by McAvoy. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Gets it out of his own end. Feeds the puck to Domi. The Leafs looking against the half wall. Clearing attempt. And the puck clears the zone. That's why you want players with active sticks on your PK, James. They can close. Wait a second, James. I believe there's going to be a call right there. An infraction happens. A chance in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Let's see what the officials are calling. When you're down a goal, you can't generate any offense if you're shorthanded. They're going to have to be opportunistic, find a way to kill it off, and then reset the momentum. Short five on three here. 
there, James. That you know that they're going to crash the net. They've got to get it on their stick, off their stick, and they've got to crowd the front. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. And they move the puck out of harm's way. Carlos out of the box, but they're still shorthanded as he steps in to help try to kill off this penalty. And he slides it quickly to Bertuzzi. Moves the puck across to Marner. And just got a piece of it to keep it out. First period nearly in the books here. Here we go. They've really ratcheted up the intensity here now in the Ozone. And it's picked up by the defense. Pass to Coyle. Just an easy pass save made by Samsonov. Covers it up. We'll get a stoppage in play. Recognizing they're still short-handed here as they get ready for the face-off. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. The Leafs cross the blue line and they're on the attack. Shattenkirk's almost back on the ice. Grabbed along the boards by Coyle. Gotta give the penalty killers a lot of credit as the penalty expires. Well, everyone is up. The coach knows exactly what the PK unit had to do, and they got out there, they were responsible, and they took care of business. Well, there's the horn ending period number one, but this one is far from over. Lots more action to go. Second period is just around the corner. For tickets to one of the most exciting competitions this season, check our website out for us. And the opening face-off here in period number two is about set. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? Toronto's playing a strong game here in terms of possession and trying to get pucks to the net. They're really attacking and finding those lanes, and that's exactly what they need to do if they want to go up by more than one. Lots of time left in this period. one nothing the score. And that's broken up. Gets it over to Barner. Gaining steam inside the neutral zone. There's a reason why coaches talk about crisp passing and execution. They get angry in your skating practice if it isn't on the tape. He puts on a clinic here in distribution, and it winds up as a goal. Toronto's on a roll tonight. Now they've extended the lead to two. They're on a roll, and you can see it in their body language, the way they're communicating on the bench. When you're winning and you're feeling it, everything's alive. Matthews wins the draw at center. Cup grab by Coyle. Poked away by Riley. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. The Leafs move the puck in the defensive zone. And he can't hang on after that hit. The Leafs have it now. Knocked off the puck. With possession along the wall. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. Goaltender spent so much time doing tracking exercises, and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from, and he makes the save. And he's got the answer for that one. Oh, and they'll be forced to start over from center as the puck leaves the zone. Van Riemsdyk's going to play against the half wall. Makes the save. The Leafs gain possession. Leobushkin's taking it from his own end. Sends it to the middle. Picked off in front. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. They score! A bronze goal! Well, this is just a fabulous shot. When you're in that high slot area, you know that you're going to be closed upon quickly, so you've got to have a quick release. That's the first thing. And the second thing is the accuracy. If it's quick and it's on, you're going to score. Boston's looked way more engaged since the start of this period, Cheryl, and now they're starting to get some of the rewards. Well, you can certainly feel the energy. There's two trains of thought here. There's a physical side and there's the emotional side of the game. Both are connected for them right now. Great heads up play to poke it away in the offensive end. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Toronto's got possession of the puck. 
Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Sends it in on the attack. Slides the puck ahead to Frederick. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. The Leafs will play it from the defensive zone. They put the puck into the offensive end. Boston's in transition. Here's a short pass to Heinen. And it's poked away in the neutral zone. Nice heads up play there. Dished on over to Heinen. Carries the puck inside the neutral zone. Sends it in deep. The Bruins get a hold of the puck along the boards. Passes it over to Lucas. Put away. Brutalize him on the play. Uh, and this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Boston's still down a goal here, but they have really picked up the tempo these last few minutes. Tony's won the draw here in the defensive zone. Toronto's got it in their own zone. Knocked away with the stick by Shattenkirk. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. Well, when you're looking for a goal, being shorthanded is not ideal. You're also killing valuable time where you can be pressing when you're PKing. Once again, send out their power play unit. Power plays, more time on the ice, the ability to get that puck moving. These players know exactly what they're doing. They work on it in practice. Spoke to some of them earlier today at the pregame, and they talked about the execution and the precision in particular with their puck movement. And he keeps possession. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Moves it to Nylander. The Leafs pick up steam and are on the attack. Here's a shot. Stones him in front. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Nylander's ready to take the draw here on this power play. And off the draw, they win possession. Carlos moving the puck through his own zone. Scrum ensues along the boards. Toronto's got the puck. Flies it over to Marner. Fires it. Makes a save. Gets a piece of it with the glove. From one point man to another. Good check. Frees the puck up. Grabs control of it at the point. Huge steal at his own end. They move the puck out of harm's way. The Leafs fire blanks on the power play. We're back to even strength here. They've had a great night on the PK. It doesn't get much better than this, James. The coach certainly knows. How about this? Three on one. Oh, what a save! The Leafs gain control of the puck against the wall. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Offside the call. We'll get a face-off coming up. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. Toronto's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Coyles won the draw at center. And they'll go the other way with it. Great play by Reeves. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Some last second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. The Leafs win that offensive zone faceoff. Gives them nothing in front. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Boston's taking possession in their own end. Quick feed to Marshall. They've got numbers here. And he makes the save. Tries to feed it over to Logan. And he takes the feed. And that goes off a player. Chris looks gained the line and on the attack. Up along the wing. Taken by Kemp. Can't hang on to the puck after taking it off. Dishes it to Brody. Scooped up along the wall by Yarncro. Moves it quickly over to Coyle. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Quick pass to Benoit. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Sends the pass over. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. There's the whistle as the puck stopper likes to hang on. 
the midway mark in this period. The Leafs lead it 2-1 in what has been an entertaining game thus far. Toronto's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. Face-off coming up as the puck goes up and over the glass. Toronto's coaches were preaching lots of shots on net, and they have done it and lead as a result here in the second. Tavares is quick on the draw. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Dumps it into the Ozone. Takes the feed. Slides it up ahead from the right wing. Dumps the puck in. Boston's gained possession along the boards. Puts it in deep. Toronto's looking to break out of their own end. And some fancy footwork to kick it over to his teammate. Right side set up ahead into the middle of the ice. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps them at bay. And now he moves it quickly to Lauko. Puts the puck on net. Official blows the play dead as the puck goes out of bounds. Officials ready to drop the puck and get things back underway. The Bruins take possession off the faceoff. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? The Bruins have it against the wall. Here's a short pass to DeBrus from the neutral zone now. Good hit to knock the puck loose. The Bruins gain control of the puck. Moved up ahead here in the neutral zone. The Leafs will play it in their own end. Puts it on net. Oh, what a save in front. Moves it to Carlo. And he'll take a step back here deep inside his own zone. Puck scooped up by Zaka. He takes a moment to backtrack but maintains possession. Toronto's got the puck along the wall. Through the neutral zone and along the boards, here they come. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. The goaltender's at the last line of defense for a reason. This time, he bails his team out. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. Heinen's so difficult to stop in tight, he's got magic hands, but unfortunately, this time it doesn't go his way as he tries to get a little nifty. Sometimes, oh, oh, oh. possession of the puck here. The Bruins gain. He might have a step here. Pass it across. Oh, what a save. Let it perfectly. Oh, he knew exactly what he wanted to do, James, but wasn't able to sell the fake nice save by the tender. Here in the late going of the frame, the Leafs are clinging to a 2-1 lead. Coyles won the draw. Moves it to the middle. Angles it over to McAvoy. Takes the feet at the back end. Oh, just wide. And it's a quick pass to McAvoy. Takes the puck behind the net. Snaps it off down. Oh, what a save with the ball. All sorts of pressure here in the offensive end. It's really turning up a notch now. Oh, and there's a hit on the play. And they skate it out of the zone. Mark to the side. A chance in front. Can't connect the play. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Quick feed to McCabe. Boston's got control of it now from their own end. Moves it quickly over to Brazil. Slip feed. A game of inches and he puts it off the outside of the post. The Bruins are generating a ton of offense in this game tonight, James, but the shots are just a little too far. And as a result, it's going off the post numerous times. Sends it over to Bofus. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Driving right to the front. Oh, he stopped it. What a save on the play. And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the will to find a way to make that save incredible, James. And as play continues, listen to these fans. They're starting to get loud. And 
recognizing what we saw not long ago here, Cheryl. Yeah, James, I mean, they're continuing to acknowledge the save he made earlier because they know the temperature of this game. Hey, the fans are now in it. They're all on board, and guess what? The goaltender knows it. Sends the pass in front, and that goes off a stick. Takes the pass. The Bruins have it now. Looking for space inside the D zone. Frederick's got it into offensive territory. Hayes is for the goal for a shot before the buzzer. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. There's the horn, 40 minutes in the books. We'll get a refresh for both the players, Ice, and we're back with a third period next. If you'd like to rub shoulders with some of our players, don't forget to go to our website and check out our next charity event. Hope you're having a great night. Two periods down, one more to go, and they're ready to drop the puck here on period number three. And they have dropped the puck here on the final frame. Now a quick pass to Pasternak. And that play's broken up. The Bruins keep it up along the boards. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Takes a shot, and too much traffic in front blocks that one. Stops that one. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Well, we know the time on ice numbers are all going to the penalty killers here, James, because it has been an onset, a parade to the penalty box. they got to find a way to play even strength. tough thing to do and this is an urge opportunity they practice they know what they're doing it'll come Tavares wins the offensive zone face off and here we go and he denied him there quick pass to Frederick nice zone entry from the right side and that's intercepted by Tavares moves the puck into the attacking area centering feed oh he comes up with a stop putting the hard hat on here what a hit Play is whistled dead as the puck goes up and over. Special teams so important. Can they capitalize on this power play here with a faceoff? 
The Leafs win the faceoff. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. We got a stoppage as the puck sails over the glass. Sackers gliding in for the faceoff as this penalty kill will continue. Boston's won the draw and they take possession here in the open ice. Shot! Oh, stops him with the glove! Great reflexes there! Toronto's have been on a roll offensively tonight and they lead it here early in this third period. Tavares wins the draw on their own end. The Leafs take it along the wing. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Trying to clear the zone. And they get the puck out and they needed that. Uh, they certainly did. This PK unit has been on fire. They get the clear. That's one. You kill valuable time. That's two. And now three. You can contest the entry. That's a great play all the way around. Nylander's ready for the draw on this man advantage. Boston's won it. Now they'll go on the attack. And that's off target as it hits a body. Time's up for the power play. Both teams back to equal strength. Scooped into the trapper by Samsonov. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Still plenty of time left in this frame. It's 2-1. Zach has won the draw here and they'll go on the attack. Scrum along the wall. And he slides it quickly to McAvoy. The Leafs carry the level. Moves it to the middle. And a new pass. And he denies that great opportunity there. Centering pass. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Boston's got a hold of it against the wall. DeBrusque's got the puck. There's a shot. A player should never be left alone in the slot, but man, is the goaltender in task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. Here's a short pass to Heinen. Great defensive effort with the stick. Loose puck battle along the boards. Boston's got a hold of the puck now. Moves it to Kiki. Moves the puck along the half wall. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. There's the whistle as the play was offside. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. It's a 2-1 hockey game. Tavares takes possession after that center ice faceoff. The Bruins have it now. Slides it diagonally to Kiki. There's a firm collision. Tavares setting up against the wall. Scores! And that's his first goal of the postseason. And he'll take it. It's much needed too, James. You get to the playoffs, you want to make sure that your teammates have trust in you and you have trust in yourself because you want to be an impact player. That's a nice start. Puck ready to drop here any moment to get things underway again. And they take control of the puck here in the neutral zone. Toronto's on the attack. Quick shot! Fantastic save! Shattenkirk stick handling in his own zone. Takes a shot! Oh, what a stop with the pad by Samsonov! And somehow he hangs on. Brody's gaining momentum. Gets the puck in deep. Boston's got the puck along the boards. And he takes the pass. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. And that's deflected. The Bruins gain possession. Works it across to Wotherspoon. Moves the puck. Big time save by Samsonov. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here.
Toronto's got the win off that draw. Pass back to the point. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Samson has been solid here tonight, James. I mean, look at his save percentage. He's been excellent between the crease, and that's making the saves that you need to and you want to at the appropriate moment. Man, his team's been effective going north. Sizzling shot, and he makes the save. Nice feed from the right wing. Little Prince got it in the defensive end. Handles the pass. Down the left wing, they gain the zone. Hard hit, frees up the puck. Carlos picking up steam. Sent into the offensive zone. Toronto's got a hold of the puck. They're looking to make something happen through the neutral zone now. Gets the puck in deep. Boston's got a hold of it along the wall. The Bruins take it across the blue line. Here's a chance! And makes the save. Forces the turnover. Slides the puck to McCabe. Great hits up play with the stick by McAvoy. Looks to make a play over to Krizlik. Fires it on net! And that's deflected off someone in front. Picked up along the boards by Matthews. Quick feed to Kiki. What a sequence. I mean, he's been outstanding. Make The Bruins find exactly what they were looking for, a goal here late in the third. And this is why your big players, your star players, get paid the big bucks to deliver at the end of the game. And this is going to be a nail butter, James, as he can feel the energy on both sides. Here's a chance! Another pass! Oh, and he keeps it here! Up to the challenge as he gets his pad on it. have had more chances offensively, but they have not been able to convert Trailer here in this third. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Sends the pass in front, and that's stopped. Toronto's got the puck. And he takes a shot. There's the whistle as the puck goes out of play. Past the midway mark of the frame, Boston's shown a new energy over these last few minutes. They got one back, but they still need one more in order to tie. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. The Leafs take it along the wall. They got a chance to make something happen here on the delayed penalty. Extra attackers out. They got to put a pin in the penalty balloon here, James. Them frustrating calls, no question about it. They got to figure out a way to control their emotion and get back in this game. so they can set up. Oh, what a save on the play! Oh, that's such an athletic save, James. I mean, that's just all about competing, finding a way to get to the puck. Scores! It's in the back of the net, and it comes from an unlikely source because that's his first career playoff goal. Well, he's been relentless, James, in this playoffs, and you know what? He's found a way to find the back of the net. That's going to be a huge confidence boost for himself and his teammates. Toronto's now up by two here in the late stages of the third. It feels like time is on their side. Time is on their side, but they're going to have to finish it. And the clock seems a little thin right now for them. And on the other side, you've got an urgent team. If they can get within striking distance, they'll get their netminder out. Sits it in front. Dishes it off again here. Here's a chance in front. Boston's looking to break out. Nice speed from the left side up the middle. And that's a great hits up play in the offensive zone. Takes the feed ahead from the left side. Slides the puck down low. Picked up. 
up along the wall by Lilgren. And puts it off the crossbar. Had the goalie beat up high, but not the bar. The Bruins have the advantage in shots tonight, but they still find themselves trailing here in the third period. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. Another stick infraction, and you know that coaches don't like this one. A product of not being in good position, reaching, and then taking the trip because you weren't moving your feet. Check in with our own Carlin Bade. Who had the better night in that head-to-head -head matchup with the Stars? Matthews looks great tonight, and it's hard to deny he's been the better player when you look at the score sheet, so I'm giving him the edge. Guys, back to you. Hammers the shot. Steps in front of the top line. Moves around along the half wall. Here's a shot. And puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. And that goes off the player in front. Matthews has an uncanny ability to know exactly where he is on the ice and who is around him. I mean, he stumbles and he's barely able to hold on to the puck with a lack of balance. But he finds the open player who gets a great scoring chance. Stop that one. Down a player and certainly feeling the heat right now. With this kind of pressure on a PK, you have to be real hard on your stick and make sure you get the clear. And a solid save there as we play on. Into the middle of the neutral zone. Oh, he got a piece of it to keep it out. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. Shot! Oh, what a save by Swayman! This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving. A reason why he can get square to it and make the save. The Bruins coaching staff has to be frustrated. Their players have played well tonight, but they just can't finish on some of these chances, and we're running out of time late in the third. On the attack along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Marchand. Big stop right there. And it's kicked away. Leo Bushkin's got the puck in his own zone. Gain momentum up along the side. Tries to the paint. Let's it fly. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Has some nice footwork to free the puck up to his teammate. The Bruins play the level of the wing. From the back of the cage with the puck. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Nylander. And a strong effort on that play. Takes the feed at the point. Oh, what a tough save by Samsonov. A critical draw here. They take possession as he locks him up off the faceoff. On the back end, denies him in close. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. Puck moved over to Saka. I'm not sure if anyone's helping him out there, but he's dialed in and doing it all himself, making consecutive saves. Here in the later stages of this period, the Leafs lead at 4-2. Approaching the final minute of regulation. To the empty net, and it misses! Around the boards, they bounce on the puck. Knocked away. Quick pass across to Heinen. as the goalie hangs on. Boston's offensive struggles have been the story tonight. Lots of chances, just not a lot of results. Geeky's won the draw there on the attack. Off the stick. Here's the chance. And he makes a save there. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. The Bruins get a hold of the puck along the boards. A shot into the Yanni cage. Fire it. Takes a hit, but still hangs on to the puck. Here's a shot. And that's all she wrote on this one as we are in the books. 
Well, after one team jumps out to the early 1-0 lead, there was the counterpunch that we expected tonight to even the series, show. Uh, I think we're getting a little bit of a snapshot as to what this series is going to look like, James. And, yes. You know, you get down one, and you know that you've got to claw your way back in. you got to split, because if you go down two, that's way too much momentum and runway for your opponent. Hope everyone had as much fun as we did here tonight. For all of us at EA Sports, I'm James Sabalski saying peace.